Bertie Blue Drama. And I think we are going to get a start. The feature race, the Prices Bakery, Malaysia Airlines, Balaclava Cup, 1997 set. Away they go. And a bit slow to begin, Stormy Jim and Tell Bonbo and Pax Matt Will and also Sportsbeat, but he's now recovering. Latin Villa jumped well. So did Rembedica right into the bridle nice and early and with Alpha Tain on its inside there, the joint leaders from Latin Villa third. Fourth secret hero. Then Kahan followed by Sportsbeat and with that horse Tucker Box, one length away then came the stay, a court of honour into a nice spot. He's better than centre field from Pax Matt Will and Aki Bono. Tucker Box was next from then came Providing Light and then two and a half lengths further back to Tell Bonbo and two away to Stormy Jim. That'd be a dozen lengths first to last. They're stringing out in the cup for 1997 at the thousand where the leader Alpha Tain led by a half. They haven't gone hard it seems. Pie in second placing Rembedeka. Young Craig Williams has it poised on the outside of the leader. In third placing two lengths away Latin Villa with Secret Hero in the centre and on the inside there on the rail is the Grey Kahan and they were followed further back then by Sports Beat just held up momentarily with Willie Watt around it. Two lengths to stay a court of honour followed further back by Pax Matt. Well if you've just joined us on a code an important late scratching. Further back to Aki Bono, followed by Tucker Box, providing light eight lengths off them. Stormy Jim went through on his inside and passed him and last of all was Tell Bombo. Tucker Box came out underneath Aki Bono, back in that rear division as they straightened, but the leader now Alpha Tain, here's Rembedica cutting loose after it quickly, Secret Hero. Willie Watt is putting in a finish down the outside. He's coming, Willie Watt. Willie is and now getting between them, Kahan. Stormy Jim on the rail, but Rembedica, the leader, Pax Matt Will down the outside is joining in with Willie Watt. Pax Matt Will is winding up on the outside with Rembedica getting through Kahan, Pax Matt Will in front getting close to home, Pax Matt Will, Pax Matt Will does it for Peter Hayes, takes the Balaclava Cup from Rim Bedeker, don't know about third, Kahan, Willie Watton on the inside, flashing through there, was sports beat, they were followed wider out by Tucker Box, Court of Honour, lovely Melbourne Cup trial, thank you, Stormy Jim Alpha Tain followed further back in the field then by uh, out deeper Aki Bono, who had a bit of a bumping duel around the turn, secret hero, a shocker, Tell Bombo didn't fire, neither did Latin Villa, and providing like the tab favourite, pulled up amongst the tail enders. Pax Matt Will. Pax Matt Will. Uh, he's, he's a genius, Peter Hayes. And uh, it's not going to hurt the punters club either at 23 to 1 on tab. The punters club are alive and kicking in both the double and the four triller with Pax Matt Will scoring from Rembedica and Kahan, I think we called third, looking at the Sky Channel freeze, courtesy of Sky, yes. And Willie Watt will get fourth and sports beat, flashed home late on the inside, will get fifth. The time, 136.28, on a code, a sensational last moment scratching before they jumped. And Pax Matt Will, Peter Hayes, he scratched this from a city race the other day with a big weight. He said 50,000 up for grabs at... Grabs at uh, Balaclava, that'll do us, and have a look at this. It's got there by a bare margin. So congratulations to the Lindsay Park trainer, Peter Hayes. Number 12, Pax Matt Will, ridden by Joe Bowditch, is by Will Dancer from the In the Purple Mare Cyclamen, raced by MN and Mrs. P.A. Tucker. Train at Brewery's gold market handicap with Bart Sinclair. Well, did cohort last year's winner look well, Bart? He does. Uh, he's an eight-year-old now, though, Nick, and you just wonder whether his best days are behind him and if he can run the time with the 57.5 kilos. Uh, I thought number two, Celestial Choir, would be very hard to beat. Uh, his form over the winter carnival was good. 1,400 metres in the Stradbroke, an outstanding performance. There he is, yeah. Yeah, and the only problem with him is that uh, he goes to go to the 57, but he uh, hasn't raced for a month. I don't think that's a worry. And the other one I like here is uh, number eight, City Slick. A good draw, looks very well. Glenn Collins to ride an asset. 278. Good on your bike. Good luck. Thanks for that. Race 5, Shepherd and his rig. And Riverbank. Now this is the big one of the day. It's the gold market. The CUB gold market at the Gold Coast. Two minutes of betting time. And the wind pool in Queensland up to 93,400. Uh, cohort. Last year's winner $10. Celestial Choir $7.50. Corregidor $12. I like him. He's a versatile galloper. He's been in everything. He won the St Ledger. Uh, I like him, $17. Luminia, 16 Quizas, 41 Roanoke Boy, 18 City Slicker, $6.95. That protest dismissed at Balaclava. So the placing stand. A City Slicker, $6.95. Blazing Flight, the Mick Dittman Mount and the Late Mail, $8.10. Horology, 39 uh, Golden Aura 30, Latin Quarter 49, Lomas 29, Mighty Content 34, Special Effects 
$6.55, St Routai $22, The Prophet Sun $35, and Ocean Trader $25, $26. That's that protest, fourth against first, dismissed. So uh, the placing stand in the Balaclava Cup uh, Pax map will uh, retaining the race. Uh, at Mooney Valley in the sixth, uh, number four, uh, Quincy Love, $4.40 and $1.70. Fuss, $2.20. Soaring Melody, $2.20. Quinella, $13.40. Trifecta, $76.40. And the exact at $23. Now, in the upcoming race at Balaclava, the sixth, the late male is number six, Newman. Race six, number six. And uh, Newman uh, is a $19 chance. We'll get a hatful. Now, uh, Wing Sing 11, Ptolemyo Ken $9.60, Manic 18, all jazzed up 25. Daz Carr $9.50, Newman 19. No Pain, No Gain 15, Royal Ripple 23. Uh, Almatore 41, Closed Circuit 68. Uh, Deep Trick is the tote favourite at $2.10, Dulcibella 15, Golden Wedding 40. Maranka Spirit 73 and Sunny Star 71. Ron Paps likes number 11, Deep Trick, 2, Ptolemyo Ken, and number 6, Newman, 11, 2, and 6. And the late male Newman has a $19 chance. Hope for us yet. And there's those uh, confirmed totes with correct weight on the Balaclava Cup. Pax Matt Will, 24, 10, and $5.90. Reb Bettiger, all the way from Cranbourne to run second, $2. K Han, uh, $12.70. Quinella $72.20, trifecta $5,672, and the pick four didn't go off, so it jackpots. They're building up. Well, there, there it is, the CUB gold market handicap. It's a quality handicap, over 1,400 metres. The field, a pretty open race too. They're parading around behind the stalls to set the scene for 1,400 metres of sheer excitement. Here's Alan Thomas. The reason for the uh, slight delays was the Jeff Fenning obviously wasn't happy with the starting gates and uh, the tractor was on the toe and the stalls were moved closer towards the inside running rail so for whatever reason they were moved, uh, Jeff Fenning obviously wasn't happy with them. Now these runners are about to come forward. City Slick is the first to go up <coughs> the goal market handicap. You heard Mike Pelly say uh, the longest racing sponsorship of Carlton and United Breweries going white back to the early 60s and it has been a great race over the years now blazing flight Rodney I hate to tell you is a bit on the toe here he's bolted well he hasn't bolted he's sort of hacked his way away from the rest of the field the clerk of the course in hot pursuit in the meantime St Routai's move forward Roanoke boy moves up special effects about to find his position Blazing flight on his way back with the clerk of the course. Last year, cohort came with a barnstorming run to win the year before that. Atlantic Crossing showed blistering speed to hold off the fast finishing challenge of Brave Warrior. And the year before that, now the great mayor, C. Winnie, absolutely flew the last bit to nail Quantic on the line. So it's a, it's a good race. Now here comes Mighty Canton up to the stools. Kay Tinsley has two runners here. Mighty Contents, the gold black spots, and the Prophet Sun is black gold spots. Laminia racing in different colours today. She was sold about uh, 10 days ago for $150,000. Now, Celestial Choir links up, so we've got more than half the field in. I Like Him comes forward. He's a versatile galloper, this fellow. Now, Corregidor and Quizas move up. Latin Quarter comes forward. Mick Dittman about to bring up Blazing Flight. And then we wait for Ocean Trader, the Prophet Son of Neurology. They run 400 metres before they reach the first corner, about the 1,000 metres mark. And invariably, this goal market has run at a crackerjack pace. Now, Blazing Flight goes into the stools. Corregidor, gee, has been a good money earner. Won the eyeliner stakes, was just beaten in the Ascot handicap. So we wait for Corregidor, the Prophet's son, Ocean Trader, 
and Horology. They're the four out of line. Special Effects has moved in. He's going to the top company today, Special Effects. He's won his last two at Eagle Farm. He's in the big league today. Tate favourite, number nine. Blazing Flight. 6.15 and 2.75. Now, Corregidor goes forward. The Prophet Sun goes up with Ocean Trader. Horology with Gary Baker aboard as the last horse to be positioned. And we're ready to run in the 1997. Carlton and United Breweries, Gold Market Handicap. <coughs> Stand by for a start. They're about to break. Light on. Set. Off in the goal market. Queezass missed the start and dropped to the tail of the field. The Prophet Sun from an outside gate and Celestial Choir began quickly. Blazing flight well away. City Slicker going through along the fence when they settle down. Horology driving up and low mass not far away when they settle. So too Golden Aura with Laminia followed by Renoki Boy. Special effects midfield up to the first corner followed by Queezass. Then St. Rautai Cohort. I like him, Corregidor. A long way back in the field is Ocean Trader with Latin Quarter and last of all is Mighty Con to the 800 metres mark and blazing flight, the leader, the Prophet Sun, second. City Slicker, third, the fence, Orology, fourth, Celestial Choir, fifth in the middle. On the fence, Low Mass, followed by Laminia, Golden Aura. Then Special Effects, Renoki Boy, Queezass, I like him, Latin Quarter, Cohort, Ocean Trader, Corregidor. A long way back to a St. Rautai. And last of all is Mighty Content. On the corner, 400 to go, blazing flight first around the corner, the Prophet Sun on the outside with Orology, City Slicker trying to get off the fence, followed by Celestial Choir, wider out Laminia and Roanoke Boy to the extreme outside, City Slicker went to the front coming to the 200 metres mark, in second spot is Celestial Choir, the Prophet Sun, Special Effects is starting to run home late, but City Slicker the leader, Special Effects going into second spot, but City Slicker broke clear, City Slicker, Slick, City Slicker beat Special Effects, Third either Laminia or Celestial Choir. Close up on the inside, low mass from Roanoke Boy, Golden Aura. Then Blazing Flight, Queezass, the other Prophet Sun. Then came Corregidor, Ocean Trader. Cohort never got in the race this year. A long way back is Mighty Content. I like him, followed by Latin Quarter and Orology as last of all. And the Gold Coast Specialist, City Slicker, wins the gold market. Number eight, City Slicker, is the winner of the gold market and a great ride by Glenn Collis, 680-260. And up goes the whip when they hit the line. Gee, the horse straight out of restricted class. Special effects ran a bottle, didn't he? A special effects, he flew home. And you can see here, Boss is having trouble getting him into the clear. And by the time he got special effects into the clear, the, the bird had flown. City slicker a dash, well clear. And have a look at the ground, the special effects takes off City Slicker in the last little bit. Now two has got third, Celestial Choir, and five is fourth, and that is Laminia. But City Slicker was given the run of the race inside alley, third on the fence, and he dashed well clear uh, in the straight. Special effects rocketed home, and he could have been a touch unlucky. I just don't know how long it took uh, Glenn Boss to get him out of that pocket in the straight. And Celestial Choir's run third, Brian York, $2.50. This horse... Uh, has new owners today. He was bought only about five or six weeks ago for a syndicate headed by Neil Jenkinson and the Thoroughbred Investment Syndicate, the Born to Run Syndicate, also B. Campbell, J. Redfin, trained by Alan Bailey here at the Gold Coast and Glenn Collis, a great winning ride. 15 second special effects by Celieri out of Cinerama, a five year old chestnut stallion trained by Clary Connors, the rider Glenn Boss. And third, Celestial Choir by Celestial Dancer out of Twig Air, trained by Helen Page, rider Brian York. Quinella 3490, trifecta 27820. Quinella 3490, trifecta $278.20. There it is. City Slicker, if you go back to the Barramal Bowl on Magic Millions Day, was caught right on the line by Vigil, and he made that Barramal Bowl form by winning the great race today. All right, we're off to Ronnie Paps, Balaclava Race 6. All yours, Papsy. Yes, they're just about set here, thanks, Al. Bardra Corporation Handicap.